My name is Ryan Summers. I'm an animator and creative director working in the motion design industry for over 20 years. I've done a little bit of everything across movies, TV shows. I've animated Starbucks cups and Pokemon. I've used a lot of tools in my career. The daily driver that's always been there for me is After Effects, but it kind of has let me down in the past because it doesn't always take everything my computer can throw at it. I mean, 9% of your CPU? That used to be the story in After Effects. But I want to show you something. Something has changed. Take a look at that info panel. You see those numbers? 11, 12, 13. Hold up. You're not going to believe me when I say this, but your world is about to change. Head on over to the edit menu, drop down to preferences, go to memory and performance, and click this little box. With multi-frame rendering enabled, let's take a look at this little test sequence full of text animators. Let's hit preview, sit back, and compare multi-frame rendering off versus multi-frame rendering on. Multi-frame rendering is off on the top, but man, look at those cores light up on the bottom one. That's MFR zooming through the timeline, crunching through a layer with tons of effects and text animators. And man, with this Lenovo P620 with an AMD Threadripper Pro, it finished previewing four and a half times faster. This is what we've been waiting years for, but it doesn't stop there. It's also in the render queue. Now the After Effects team has put together this awesome little benchmarking project for you to see how fast your machine has gotten with MFR. So let's put it through its paces and see if the render queue got any faster. You know the drill. On the top, MFR is off, and on the bottom, just look at how many processes are lit up. Have you ever seen 100% of your cores being used by After Effects? Now it can happen. Your mileage may vary, and I've seen it depend on how big your project is and how much RAM is needed, but it's significantly faster. I haven't even mentioned yet the ability to now cache frames when idle. It's a speculative preview tool that when you stop working in After Effects, it still keeps working for you. And there's also the ability now to get notifications to desktop and mobile whenever you finish a render. So whether you're doing indie VFX, animations for broadcast or film, or doing character work for an explainer video, open up After Effects, fire up multi-frame rendering, and see what it can do to boost your workflow.